Everything's hey, about Pokemon. And if you think it's, it's not, a... you're dumb. With that? Everybody okay. cool with that. Alright. No. Yep. Josh. Fuck you, Josh. Keep the intro short. All right, yeah. Welcome back to uh, our four-year anniversary extravaganza. We're doing more videos that have been super requested. We did our worst from 6th Gen, so it only makes sense that we would also do our favorites from 6th Gen. So we're going to be going through it. There's six of us here. That's a lot of Pokemon to get through, so let's try to get it done as you know as quick as we can. Yeah. We're going to be doing it popcorn style like we normally do. Um, should I start? I guess I'll start. I'll yeah, start. why don't you start? I'll, I'll, start and go, I'll start and go from there. We'll try to get through it quick, so. Yeah. What is your number five favorite Pokemon? My Matt? number five favorite Pokemon from 6th Gen is Froakie, or I guess really the whole line if I want to cheat, but if I had to pick just one, I would go with Froakie. Um, from the minute I saw Froakie, I knew that he was my favorite of the starters, because he just he's adorable. Look at him, he's a fucking frog with a little, little white thing he's on his nose, and he's got the big cartoony eyes. He's adorable. He's fucking adorable. <laughs> he is. And... I normally always go with the grass types when it comes to the Pokemon games, and like you do, I do, and like as as much as I do like Chespin, I do like him second best of the starters. Just Froakie, man, he he was really cool. So I ended up going with Froakie, and it gets better with I, what's up. Uh, well, go ahead, finish. I was just go gonna ahead. say like with Froakie, it gets better because like he actually his whole line is just fucking awesome. Like, it's just cool all the way through, and that doesn't happen all the time with the starters. Like, even yeah. some of my favorite starters, like, just don't have that that second cool Pokemon. Like, Monferno mm -hmm. sucks. And, uh, <laughs> f like, Frogadier is <laughs> fucking cool as shit. And Greninja is probably going to be the most popular Pokemon in the damn list. He's, yeah. you know, he's already proven to be a badass. That guy's in Smash Brothers. Like, you don't get yeah. much more badass than that. But uh, I still am going to go with Froakie cause, just because I like the cute. I like cute Pokemon. I, uh, I just wanted to say, Matt, I think that you should bring up the fact that you have always really liked reptiles. I uh, have over frogs, those rule. who are amphibians. Who are amphibians. Um, yeah. But I do really like frogs. Yes, Gecko's rule. You... Trico is my favorite <laughs> Pokemon from third gen. So I do I do like reptiles. And I normally go with the grass types, not just because it's tradition, but most of them are reptilian. Are, uh, yeah. This was the first gen where it wasn't, actually. The grass, yeah, the grass type was not... Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, so I still stuck with the reptilian sort of thing, even though, you know, amphibian. So yeah, amphibian, that's... Yeah. <laughs> I like Froakie. I like Frogadier. I like Greninja. I like that line. They're my fifth favorites. Um, that's Good just line. yeah. Let's just move on. Popcorn Jess. Oh man, uh, my number five is Noivern, and uh, <clears throat> from the minute it was revealed, I knew I was going to be using it because look at it. It's just it's so cool looking. It's a dragon type. It looks like a bat. There's nothing I don't like about its design at all, and there's nothing I don't like. It's not great competitively but it's still really fun to use um i love my noivern <laughs> so um noivern's really cool yeah looking. yeah i no love noivern noivern would be in my top 10 for sure he's not in my yeah. five spoilers but i would <laughs> i would put him like noivern's color scheme yeah, yeah, yeah. Color the, scheme i like the one of my favorite the, things the, the like the purple and the like bright blue like that's cool it looks really cool yeah and i like love it. the like the speakers like oh it's oh it's ears yeah yeah, you know, I, when I first when I first saw its reveal, I thought those were supposed to be its eyes, <laughs> and I still thought it was cool. But um, <laughs> but then I noticed I like that. the the beady yellow eyes uh, below it. So um, mm -hmm. it would have been cool either way. But I do love the uh, like the ridiculously big ears. Those are also cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Was badass. Yeah. Um, let's see. Popcorn done. My number five is, uh, I might get some people, like, some weird looks, but, uh, I really <laughs> like Barbarical. Like, it's just so, <laughs> I, I especially, like, I, I want to say it's because of the pre-evolution that I really like Barbarical, because <laughs> the pre-evolution, they look like mole hands to me, mm. and Barbarical <laughs> is that multiplied, 
to crazy, like, <laughs> craziness levels. Yeah, it's like if you took yeah. Dotrio and made, like, 20 of him instead. <laughs> 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 I do like it's so goofy, yeah. ridiculous, and I I, I think it's funny. And that's why it's, it's number five on my list. Yeah, it's I, one of the funnier designs of this gen for sure. I will say, when I first saw Barbarico, like when we those leaks hit, I did have an immediate like Ugh, reaction to it. <laughs> But just the more I look at the thing, especially when you see it in motion, it's really yeah. model. It's just so like, it's so goofy and goofy looking. Like I know I said that twice, but goofy, goofy, goofy. I was waiting for Josh to do it because everybody else was saying the word goofy nonstop, and like he didn't say it. He never said it. So anyway, sorry, Ricky. I just wanted to express my disappointment with Josh. I know Josh is off his game tonight. I, I was disappointed, so I. He stole it. Maybe he was planning to he do it at the end. I was waiting know. for him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, Josh. But yeah, it's it's hard. Barbarical's not in my top ten, uh, but uh, it's hard for me not to like him. He's yeah, so I I like Barbarical a lot because yeah, he's, good, he's cause... really silly. How can you not? <laughs> I, I, there's going to be a lot of people I think that don't like Barbarical, and you're definitely going to get some weird looks, like you said, but. I like Barbarical. I think he's right. Yeah, I do. <laughs> anyway, so. Okay. Right. I will popcorn Josh. All right. So my number five is a fucking awesome Pokemon, Tyrantrum. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He's he's a fucking king. Ty T Rex. Tyrex. Tyrex. <laughs> Robot. <laughs> Yeah, robots. <laughs> he basically has a crown and like a fucking frill around his neck and yeah. a beard oh, and yeah. his jaw. Mm -hmm. And he also has an awesome uh, ability in strong jaw. Yes. <coughs> too bad most competitive people want his hidden ability, which isn't available yet. Rockhead is a good ability too, but I think the strong jaw is an strong awesome. Strong jaw is better. Hmm. I think it's an awesome ability that's unique to his line. Yeah. Right. So I think that's really, really cool. I love Tyrantrum. Yeah. And I also want to note that Tyrant is pretty cool, too. Oh, I, yeah. I love Tyrant. Tyrant. I, I was actually going back and forth which one to include because of how awesome they both are. Yeah, I, I love them both, but it's like I like Tyrantrum more. I look at it as like... Uh, this is going to seem completely random, but like in Banjo Tooie, you can become like the baby T Rex or the daddy T Rex. And it's like both of them are just so cool. You're like, I'm a motherfucking T Rex. But it's like, <laughs> come on, you know which one you want to be. You want to be the full size one. Like, that's the that's the shit. So, yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> I also, I appreciate that. Oh, we... Sorry, go ahead. It's your list. I just want to mention that their fucking shinies are amazing. Yeah. Oh, their shinies are so cool. Ooh. I, I, really uh, I appreciate the fact that it's a fossil Pokemon that's a fucking yeah. T-Rex like yeah, dinosaur. Yeah, it's about goddamn time. Isn't can, it? We, can we rejoice that we finally got a T-Rex? <laughs> like, <laughs> everybody's been wanting one for so long and now we have one and he's awesome. So Finally. Yeah. Oh, I guess I should popcorn something. <laughs> looks like Chopper. He does. Oh, the Land Before Time? Yeah. 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 I'm like, go next person, and I have to popcorn someone. Um, uh, popcorn Ricky. All right, that's me. <laughs> I guess he's the only one. Oh, wait, oh no, Amanda. Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Amanda. Uh, forever Amanda. Okay. Um, my number five is one that I don't know. I I don't feel like I'm gonna get weird looks for it, but I I feel like uh. It kind of snuck its way into my top five, you know. Like it, it wasn't one of my favorites at first, but the more I just looked at this thing, I was like, I love this guy. Uh, my number five is Clawitzer, um, <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie. A large part of why I love this guy so much is his name. I think that is just the most badass name. Uh, <laughs> But I also think he's really cool looking. I mean, we've seen hermit crabs before in Pokemon. We've seen them quite often, in fact. But uh, I think this one might actually be my favorite. I love the idea of, like, taking a, uh, you know, the, you, you have the giant claw of a hermit crab. That's kind of the prerequisite of that design, right? And mm -hmm. taking that and turning it into a fucking proton cannon. <laughs> like, oh I, just God, think, yeah. I just think that's really cool. I think it's a really neat uh 
idea, and I think it it's a cool design for a cool name, and I just like it a lot. And I don't actually have one because uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's that good, but I just think it's a cool design, and that's what we're rating. So, it, um, I also want to mention it has that ability, Mega yeah, Launcher, Mega Launcher, which, which only goes in tandem with the giant cannon. It does, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I guess all that's left is me. Yes. Where'd Ricky go? Okay. Ricky, Anything else to say, Ricky? Ricky, are you dead? Ricky, please. Oh, no. Ricky, oh, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. I will. I'm popcorn Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Wow, Ricky's back. <laughs> Man, Ricky. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> how's how's editing Final Fantasy I was, I was seven? trying to do the funny buzz voice <laughs> when he has like just his arm. Come here, you give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess <laughs> while Ricky's away, Amanda, go ahead and tell us your number five. We'll pause it after that. Okay, my number five is Vivillon, <laughs> however you want to pronounce it. Vivillon. Vivillon. There it is. There it is. Like, I really like it, even though it's the plain basic, you know, there's a butterfly, it's your bug, here you go, kind of Pokemon. But, like, I like that the different regions give it different designs, and that's really cool. Like, <laughs> It encourages trading with people from around the world. So, you know, collect all the different designs. I like it. Yeah. It's kind of mind-boggling to think that the people who are actually trading you Spupa are uh, the base form. Scatterbug. <laughs> Scatterbug? Scatterbug. Um, might actually be doing it to give you their Vivillion, but you have to do work. You got to put yeah. in work. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I like it's still nice. It's I think it's cool just because there's like if you don't like one form, well there's you know twenty more to pick from. I think I think Vivillon Vivillon is very cool. It's <laughs> probably my favorite of the butterflies. Yeah, uh, it's definitely mine. What? I uh, wow, you sound sorry. you sound like Ricky hey. again, Ricky. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, right, my my internet went out. But yeah, it's uh it's my favorite of the butterflies too. I um, even though I do love the shit out of Butterfree, I said this in our worst list, but I just think it's hilarious that uh, that's <laughs> what that the, the villain is what ended up being number six six six. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> butterfly. I think. Oh, yeah, it's a I, butterfly. The thing I think that's cool about it is, um, like you said, if you don't like one of the patterns, then you could just get another one. But I actually like them all. I think they all look cool. Yeah, I do. I do as well. Um, Me too. I, I there's not. There's yeah. not one pattern where I'm like, yeah, that one's ugly, you know? Yeah, I think they're all very cool. Vivillon would be another one that would be in my top ten, but it's not on my five spoilers. So, mm -hmm. Good choice. <clears throat> I liked it. So, It's cool that I, it was fortuitous that I dropped then because I didn't have to popcorn anybody. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we knew who was going next, so sorry about that. It's, anyway. it's cool. Don filled in for you. All right, awesome. <laughs> you're, later, later. You're going to enjoy that. Um, anyway... <laughs> Uh, Amanda, go ahead and pick who you want to start number four. Um, Jess. Uh, my number four is Pyroar. And Pyroar made it onto this list because, I mean, Matt knows, like, he and I have been talking about this since forever, that we like really wanted a, a, a lion <laughs> with a, a lion Pokemon. And a lion Pokemon with a flaming mane, which we didn't necessarily get, but it's still a fire type uh, lion, which is Awesome. I love Pyroar. I love both uh, the male and the female forms. I think they look amazing. Uh, so I'm really, really happy that we actually got uh, a fire-type lion this gen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I love Pyroar. It's not um, it's not as good uh, competitively as it should be, but who cares? It's it's a lion. It's a flaming, like, it's a fire lion uh, after, like, way too long going without one. So <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> I love Pyroar, too. Both forms. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Pyroar is awesome, I, though. Like, both of its forms are amazing. I love its male form. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 
and the, the female f- form is very elegant and yeah it's got the long flowy mane and like um i don't know if this means we won't get a fire lion for a starter <laughs> eventually <laughs> hope- because of the you know thing that they're supposedly following i hope that someday we do i really do <laughs> i mean we have several we i i don't think that rules that out if no i don't think we have like 20 electric mice so yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> Right. So that's 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 how I feel about Pyro. I popcorn done. Again. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's like Bye. the third time you popcorn done tonight. <laughs> it's the second time. <laughs> you did it in the worst list too though. Oh I did? Oh okay. <laughs> Sorry, Don. Do you want to I should put me on No, Not it's fine. Sure. No. no I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and change it. I popcorn Matt instead. Oh okay. right, I'm glad you picked. I'm glad you picked me because my number four is Pyroar. Yes. <laughs> I, I was hoping you would pick me because I want to talk about Pyroar, even though you pretty much said everything that I wanted to say. I've I've wanted for years, years and years and years and years and years for a for a lion pokemon i wanted it to be a starter with a flaming mane and like just said we didn't quite get that but i think what we got is equally cool it's I, awesome i really like the design of his mane and they kind of gave it that flaming style that's what they yeah, were going I for mean, it may not be literally on fire but it's red and yellow and pointy mm-hmm. like yeah. it's it's clearly supposed to be channeling the idea of a flaming mane right um, it also lights mm-hmm. up when it uses a special attack. right oh that's right and even and even better than like i something i never even considered they made a female version of it like i didn't even yeah. consider that when i was coming up with ideas for a yeah uh fire lion pokemon and it just it 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 uh it didn't meet all my expectations but in a way i think it's actually kind of better than what i was expecting and i like pyroar a lot it is a shame that he sucks competitively like he is <laughs> he is booty he's fast. yeah he's he's fast but his move pool is garbage he's typhlosion yeah, yeah. his move pool is kind of garbage and something that josh and i were actually talking about last night is like none of his three abilities are good yeah none of them are good <laughs> He has a nerve, Moxie, I mean, and. I l- mean, let me let me rephrase that. They're good abilities, but they're wasted on Pyroar mm-hmm. because they're all like to do with its attacking stat, and well, it's a special attacker. Yeah. Well, rivalry <laughs> fucking just blows. Yeah, yeah. rivalry sucks. Py- <laughs> Pyroar is not good competitively, but he is one of my new favorite fire types, and definitely my fourth favorite from this gen. I love yeah. Pyroar, and I'm glad Fuck that yeah. we- I'm glad that we have him, and I'm glad that. Just remembers that we've been talking about it for eight years now. So that's... Oh, how can I forget? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I it was victory for me when this finally happened. I, oh, I, yeah. could, I imagine it was. Yeah, Pyro is not in anywhere in my top ten, but it is very cool. One of my probably in my top fifteen. Yeah, so very good, very good Pokemon. Uh, I'll I'll popcorn to Don <laughs> since he just got ripped off. So <laughs> sorry, Don. I want to talk about Pyro real quick. And Pyro is not my fourth. Oh. Disclaimer: It is not. What? I want to mention that they also gave Pyroar a t-shirt. And that t-shirt is awesome. I wear it all the time. Oh, in the game, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, in game. Yeah. Well, because it's a fucking lion. Lions are like symbols of just um, being royalty. the king. Just being awesome, basically. Yeah. Like, they're the most, they're the king of the jungle. The most powerful animals. Not really, but, you know. Somebody so, jump. that's probably why. Anyway. Yeah, my number four is... Pancham. Ooh. Pancham is a panda Pokemon. Like, what What else can you, <laughs> like, do you need to say? You know? It's, it's cute. It's cuddly. It's a little, he's got that little, like, leaf twig. Thing. Yeah, yeah, twig leaf thing. It makes uh, him a grass type. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> God. <laughs> Bringing this back. I just just <laughs> saying that because, like, whenever he, he would battle me or whatever, uh, you would think Pangoro is a grass type because he has like a little twig in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Josh is dumb. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> Rude! You, you guys are never going to see Pangoro again because he's not that good competitively. Uh, but anyway, Pancham is just a cute little cuddly panda guy. He's scrappy. Yeah. Scrappy looking. I think, was it one of his abilities, Scrappy? Uh-huh, I think so, yeah. It's his hidden ability, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Pancham, yep. Scrappy. I love Pancham. I uh, will refrain from saying more than that. 
at this time. <laughs> okay. I, I will. I'll leave it at that for now. Then I won't say too much. Uh, and I'll popcorn. Amanda. Okay. My number four is Heliolith. Woo. Yay! Nice. I love Heliolith. Like, when I saw Helioptile revealed, I thought it was like the most adorable thing ever, and like a lot of people didn't really like it from what I heard, and I was kind of surprised because it's like a blizzard that has puppy ears. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like, adorable. It's adorable, <laughs> I and know. they like open up, and it's adorable, and then like its evolution it got better. It like it has a frill around its neck, and that opens up, mm. and I just I think it's adorable, and it's like a sand lizard. And it's shiny. It's like really neat looking. It's got like all different colors, and it looks right. kind of tribal like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do. I, uh, I really like electric Pokemon. I I like electric Pokemon too. It's my favorite type. I, I really know. like normal type Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I I like. Uh, well, go ahead. I'll let you finish. Sorry. Huh? <laughs> go on, Ricky. Go on. She's oh, done. She's she done. Was done. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say that, like, I I really like that line as well. I I think the, the like frilly neck lizard Pokemon is awesome, <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to mention that Heliolisk's Japanese name is Elizard, and I think that's a cool name. That is <laughs> nice. I, I just I like um, I I'm not a huge I, I'm a fan of uh, Helioptile. Um, even though as we were just stating, I really like lizards and. Electric is my favorite type, but he doesn't really look like a lizard much to me. He just kind of looks like a thing. And um, I think Heliolisk really gets the lizard feel down a lot more. I really like that he's a frilled lizard and that when he attacks, like, his frills come up and, like, shine yeah. a little bit to, like, mm-hmm. do the electricity. Yeah. I think that's really fucking <laughs> rad. I like Heliolisk a lot. I like him much more than Helioptile, so I think that's a good pick. That's fair. Yeah. I like them both, personally. Yeah, I don't have anything I like him against him. I just, I just don't think he. Uh, he doesn't look like a lizard enough for me, and Heliolus really looks like a lizard. So. Legit, good pick. Who's left? Jo- I, uh, Josh and Ricky. And me. Josh. Okay. Oh, and so is Ricky. <laughs> So, last time we forgot about Amanda, and now she forgot about me. <laughs> Fucking karma, bitch. I guess I, I will pop for Ricky, so if his internet dies. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence, man. <laughs> um, my number four is Halucha! 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 I loved this thing literally from the moment I saw it. I've been wanting, I should say before I even talk about its design, I've been wanting a fighting flying type for forever because um, it was one of the only, like, not the only, but one of the only flying combinations that we didn't have yet. And um, I actually wanted it to be an evolution for Farfetch'd, but I think that... That ship is sailed. Yeah, I think that ship is sailed. I think Farfetch'd is best as, you know, Farfetch'd. He's eternally the punchline of, like, bad Pokemon. He's um, too far gone. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I actually think how it was better than anything I could have dreamed up. The idea of, like, a... I mean, it's a it's a bird, obviously, so it's flying and it's got like the wings. But they made it like a Mexican wrestler with a mask and like the the like frills on his arms are basically. I mean, I know they're feathers, but they're channeling like wrestling frills, you know. And I just think it's a an amazing, amazing design. Absolutely one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, not that good, but you know, it seems like <laughs> it seems like we're saying that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. this is a list for best designs or favorite designs, I should say. Yeah, we're not uh, really counting competitive use. <laughs> no. Dogs are Lucia Rex. Much, but like, excuse me, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's my nickname. It's not even it's not even Chipotle. It's Chipotle. It's like <laughs> Chipotle. Like mm-hmm. Chipotle. Wow. <laughs> that's that's the nickname for my shit. But this I, I think Lucia is I think it's pretty good. Not, not really good, but it's sure. pretty good. It's, it's, it's good. decent. It's got it's got perfectly good speed and attack, but it's not like... It's a perfectly cromulent Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not knocking Halucha. Obviously, that's one of my four favorites. I love this thing. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I guess I don't have that much more to say about it. I uh, I will say Flying Crest is a signature move. kind of sucks, but... Mm-hmm. It's, it's not very, like... 
applicable to anything. Like well, nobody's but... weak to both. both flying and fighting. And yeah, like it kind of like neutralizes uh, oftentimes for most things. Yeah, it's kind of an odd um, attack, really. It's the only attack with two types like that. Yeah. Um, even though it's classified as a fighting type attack, I'm sure. So the system doesn't crumble underneath that oddity, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I just like I said, I don't have much more to say about it. It's it's I like its color scheme a lot too, actually. Mm -hmm. So I guess that was one more thing I had. And uh, yeah, I think this thing is completely badass, and I love it. So go, Josh. All right, <laughs> my number four is also feline. Is it Pyro? Along with Matt and uh, Jess's. We've had like two people between them. You I can't know. call back to that now. I call BS. <laughs> uh, my number four is Meowstick. Uh, I like both of them, but I would say this list pertains mainly to the male design. Even though the female one's cool too. Um, I don't know. I just really like this Pokemon. And finally we have a good fast, uh, strong cat Pokemon. Yeah. And we haven't really seen that before, and I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. that is I like... Uh, yeah, Meowstix are first. Yeah, I like both Meowstix a lot, but I think I actually <laughs> might like Esper more. Than Esper either, is but... a fan favorite. Like, people yeah, really like Esper. Everyone loves Esper. <laughs> it's that funny face, man. You can't... Those big eyes. I mean, you can't, uh, especially in like Poke, whatever it's called, Pokemon Ami. Pokemon Ami, you can't, you can't look at that face without laughing. At least I can, <laughs> you know. It's 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 so fun, like taking a Pokepuff and holding it above its head. So oh, like, its mouth is like, mouth, like, like... Yeah. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah. It's so cute. But no, I, not to take away from Meowstic, I really do like them both a lot, and I think it's cool. Their gimmick is cool that they are. Um, you know, they have different stats. Mm -hmm. They're gen mm -hmm. Well, they don't have different stats. Yeah, they're... Their genders have different rules and move goals. Oh, well, that's not what I said. <laughs> so it's, kind of, it's kind of like they're Plusle and Minin, but they're one Pokemon, which is what they fucking should have done. Yeah. Um, but, like, even their hidden abilities are different. The males is Prankster, and the females is Competitive. competitive. Yeah. And it like it goes along with their roles. The male mm -hmm. is more support based, and the female is more offensive based. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cat fight. Meow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I guess that's all I have to say about it. Does anyone else? Yeah, I don't. Well, why don't but... you... He's ugly too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cheater too. Thanks, Thanks for that, Matt. <laughs> it's just gonna it's just popcorn somebody, damn it. Alright. I will I have all the power um, yeah. I'm gonna popcorn Amanda. Yeah, I was I was thinking you should. Yes. Like, you forgot about her. Yes, forgot about me. But also my number three is Meowstick. What a quinky dink. Yeah, it goes along with it. Like who could have known? <laughs> <laughs> well, I honestly didn't. So <laughs> <laughs> go on, Amanda. Because, like, what Josh said about like designs and how they're different for the male and female. Like I really like how they went with that. Like the male, he's got the stripes. He's you know more blue than the female, so he looks you know kind of looks a little bit more masculine, I guess, and the female has, like, the scarf, and it's very, like... Elegant. Yes. Yeah. Flowy. I, I think they both kind of have, like, <laughs> like anime hairstyles that are appropriate <laughs> for their gender, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I, I think it's well done, like you, yeah. And like you I also, like, like I love their color scheme, because I like blue and white. I think they look really good together, and their shinies yeah. are, like, a pale-ish yellow yeah, and white. white. Cream Which color looks yeah. really good. Yeah. And I don't normally like yellow Pokemon, but I think like the pale creamish yellow color is really pretty looking. Mm -hmm. But you like, like Pichu. <laughs> yes, I love Pichu. I know. But that's because Pichu is adorable. He is. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to <laughs> create controversy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Josh. 
you're awesome. Devil's advocate. Yep. <laughs> and, and like competitively, I feel like they're they're pretty good. Like Prankster is is really good. It's also faster than a couple other Prankster Pokemon, so it can out Prankster them. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's, it just makes it all. Yeah, because Meowstic has a pretty decent base speed. It's like 105 or something. 104. 104, okay. Which is an odd number, but yeah. It is, like yeah. you said, it's faster than certain critical things, you know? Yeah, well, so Pirate like, it's good. And like, competitive and infiltrator work really well for the female because like, it's more attack based. Mm -hmm. So like, its abilities work really well for what it does. Either way. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool that it gets different moves depending on like, what gender it is. Yeah. That is very I don't cool. think anything's ever done that before. Nope, this is the first, and it's the uh, best candidate for it, I would think. Yeah, I think well, so too. Right now, at least. <laughs> They're going to throw a bunch of these at us in the future, I think, because of how well received it was. Yes. And, you know, that's totally cool. Yeah. As long as they're good designs. <laughs> yeah, they got to be good. Just we don't need no Garboder with a male and female. <laughs> <laughs> God. Thanks. It just has a bunch of bows instead of crap in it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna, can, we, can we not put that middle image in everyone's head? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to pop for a dog before Josh goes on any longer. <laughs> My number three is Trevenant. And that also might get some weird looks. <laughs> Trevenant's, yeah. awesome. Trevenant's cool. I, yeah, I think he's a fucking cool ass Pokemon. It's like, it's a ghost tree, and like, he, he sort of has this sort of a RPG enemy kind of design to him. Like, yes, he totally he, does. He looks like he, he really came does. right out of Dragon Quest. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's how I feel about it. And yes. uh, I just think he's really cool. I agree. I actually, um, I learned about. Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist before I learned about Trevenant. And I was expecting, I, I thought, you know, I love pumpkins and just Halloween. And so I thought, like, man, Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist are going to be some of my favorites. But I actually think that the that Trevenant and um, Phantom, Phantom are, are, I think they're the superior ghost grass, which is, blows my mind. I think yeah. they're <laughs> not that I don't like Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist. Like I said, I just. I just said I thought they were awesome, but I think I like Trevenant a little bit more for the same reasons that you gave, Don. And his shiny is awesome. Mm -hmm. Most of the shinies this gen are awesome. Yeah, yeah they are. <clears throat> They're not all pink and lime green. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah. Most of them don't come, don't suffer from lime green syndrome. <laughs> They're not Crobat's <laughs> shiny. <laughs> He's both of those things. God, I forgot. He was both. Oh my god. That is funny. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Trevenant yeah, is. He's a tree. Trevenant yeah. also has Harvest, which makes him. Which broken. is awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's broken. broken. <laughs> Trevenant Rex. Gotta man. kill it really fast. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta one hit it so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> That's hard to do. Can't you like harvest twice on the same turn sometimes? Can you? I don't I don't think no so. idea. I'm pretty sure it comes at the end of the turn. Yeah. Okay. Or the beginning, whatever. Or it might be both at the beginning <laughs> and the end. Somebody will well, tell us. Anyway. I think Trevenant is really cool. So yeah. good good choice, Don. Thank mm -hmm. you. I want a popcorn Jess, which is popcorn. Okay. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Pay it forward. <laughs> not intention not intentional, I promise. Uh my number three is Greninja. And you know, we were gonna see Greninja on the list sooner or later. Um uh, I just, there's nothing I can say that everybody else hadn't already said like prior to this list because he's just so cool looking. I was not um <clears throat> I was not expecting uh Greninja or the, the like the entirety of his line, like Froakie, uh, Frogadier, Greninja, they're all cool. And we don't see that too often uh, with starter lines. So uh, with any line, really. So I really like that he's I really love the, not too many people are wild about the like the uh, the tongue scarf. But I really like it. I think it's really goofy and clever. But I uh, love the tongue. scarf. Personally. <laughs> I think it is a great like to make a frog ninja design. That's exactly what you do, I think. It's Absolutely, so funny. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's I so it. funny and silly, and I love it. So <laughs> I'm right there with you. 
Yeah, I love Greninja. I think he's awesome. I think he's one of the best designs uh, this gen, like hands down. So, um, I gotta say real quick. Um, yeah. I I I always thought Greninja was really cool. I mean, because how can you not? But yeah, I have to say, like since his announcement for Smash Brothers, he's really shot up. Like on my, I think he's even cooler now. Just see, <laughs> seeing him in like 3D, being the badass Frog Strider, like he. Uh, I'm not th- gonna lie, it didn't it didn't hurt his chances with me either. So. Yeah, he really like shot up. Not uh, again, not to say that I ever thought he wasn't cool because I always thought he was very awesome. But uh, I think he's even cooler now that he's in Smash Brothers. Yeah. So you get into Smash, you're automatically cool. <laughs> Speaking of Smash Brothers, I really like what they did with the tongue scar. So yeah. like in the direct, they show him slapping somebody with his. I tongue know. Scar. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. And like, what's so awesome much. is because Sakurai is Sakurai. He made it the move lick. Yes. <laughs> Which Greninja <laughs> actually learns. Right. So. Well, actually, everybody learns this, but substitute doll. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Oh, yeah. High def as shit. <laughs> the most HD thing in all of video games. <laughs> it feels like you feel it. Yeah. It does. It's so funny, too, because, like, why is it so HD? Like, <laughs> they could have just not had the real cloth texture on it and not have gone the extra mile, and nobody would have cared, but they made it look HD as shit. <laughs> yeah, they really did. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Greninja's so, awesome. Yeah. Greninja is amazing. I love it so much. Uh, and I popcorn Ricky. Hey, that's me. <laughs> yeah, it's you. Uh, my number three happens to be a starter as well. Um, as you may have guessed from my enthusiastic, yeah, when Matt brought up Chespin. Uh, <laughs> Chespin is my favorite starter from yeah. X and Y. And if I really, like, if I was going to cheat, I would say Chespin slash Quilladin because I love them both so much. Uh, but if you held me at gunpoint and made me choose between them, I would go Chespin. Uh, <laughs> I think just, I just think, I don't know, there's a lot of things about Chespin that I really like. I think he's cute and kind of badass a little bit as well. He's His little hat thing reminds me of um, Kristen Schaal's character from Bob's Burgers. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, he just, like Matt said, I think it's interesting that he's like the first, like, not reptilian slash amphibian uh, grass starter. He's like a like a furry mammal, you know? And um, I just think that makes him stick out in my mind from all the rest of the grass type starters. And uh, he's my favorite. And I actually have a Chespin plush that I bought for myself because I'm an adult. <laughs> I threw it on the ground. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Uh, going off of that, I, I will touch on Quilladin briefly because I feel like when Quilladin was revealed, a lot of people didn't like him because he's so like chubby and goofy looking. Goofy. Uh, goofy. <laughs> oh. There it is. But I love Quilladin, and I actually I really like Chestnut too, but not as much as the other two. Um, the thing I just Quilladin just makes me laugh. He's like, he's like this. It's so not what you. Looking. Yeah, it's it's not what you would expect going off of Chespin, I don't think. He he looks you know, he's like a chunky, like he's looks like he could learn rollout, you know, and yes. not even he not even have to like tuck in his arms and legs. <laughs> but um yeah, I just I think he's great. And uh something that uh my girlfriend said about him is that he looks like he's wearing he's like wrapped up in a snuggie or something, so <laughs> I just uh both of those two, Chespin and Quilladin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quilladin. Quilladin. I just, they're, they're two of my absolute favorites. So, uh, so yeah, I popcorn Matt. You're the only one left, I think, right? No, Josh hasn't gone, has he? For third? Oh. Have I? For Forgot three? Josh. For Josh. third? <laughs> Josh <laughs> picked me. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What did you? Wait, are we on three or four? We're on three. Josh picked We're on three. Well, what is happening? I have to go for three. Okay, well, then I'm going, and then you get to go next. Uh, okay. My... Sorry. I, I got to turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is awful. Um, yep. My number three oh, my number three pick is Honedge. Um, coming off of our worst, where we talk about Dublade being the worst, I think Honedge is really fucking cool. I have a thing for living inanimate objects, which is something that we've talked about in past videos where I've picked living inanimate objects. And Honedge is a living sword with, like, a ghost eyeball, and he, like, he's got that sheath that he, like, takes off of him. 
Like when he rolls into battle, that's fucking rad as shit. Yeah. I. Oh. Fuck yeah. Plus, I really like his typing, the Steel Ghost typing. I think that's very cool. that's a very yes. unique and very fun and very good typing. Like his evolve yeah. form, Aegislash, Slash, is really powerful. Uh, and he's got like yeah. a unique gimmick. But as cool as Age Slash, Slash is, I gotta give it to Hone Edge. I just think this guy's a badass motherfucker, and that's why he's my <laughs> number three on the list. Yeah, I Hone love Hone very Edge. Cool. I'm right there with you. I want to say I think the coolest like uh, the thing that pulls it all together for me is the like strap arm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like if it was just the sword, it wouldn't be as cool for me. Right. No, I agree. I agree. I think it would be a little boring with just the sword. Yeah. Um, I think the strap and the sheath being like a part of his character, like I guess design, not really character. I think that. I think it all works. I think it all works in very glorious ways, and I love everything yeah. about this Pokemon. Yeah. So, Onage is a bamf. Yeah. And so is Aegislash. Slash. We talked about this already. Yeah. They're all cool. But you know, people might not have watched that other video, so uh, we gotta we gotta reiterate, right? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta repeat ourselves all the time. Anyway, Josh, what's your what's your number three? My number three is Noivern. <laughs> oh, we talked about this guy. Going back to that, yeah. Um, cool. Basically, all the same stuff Jess said. Um, I like his speakers, which is something I didn't like about, you know, Exploud and uh, <laughs> his middle form, Loudred, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just pulled off way better here, in my opinion. I think it makes more sense for a bat who's, like, sonar-based. Yeah. Right. You know, exactly. Like, Exploud, that whole line is kind of like, what are they even? But, like... <laughs> But you know, it makes perfect sense. Like a bat speakers, like I get that you your brain gets it immediately. You know. Yeah, I think Ricky nailed it. I think uh, the sonar, like the the speaker ears, makes a whole lot more sense for a bat Pokemon to have. Yeah, the fact that it's also like a wyvern or a dragon or what what have you, um, yeah. makes it cooler. You know, like I could definitely see this as just a dragon. Like it doesn't have to have any bat relation to it. But it does, and I think that also makes it a little cooler because, you know, Swablu into, uh, what's his name? Okay. Altaria. <laughs> Altaria, it's cool. yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I love Norman as well. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that for everybody's picks. Like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one of my favorites too, but it's not on my list. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot I of good ones. I think we mentioned this in the papers, uh, List, like in the very beginning, that like in this generation, like overall, since there's so few, uh, but like overall, we like them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> there, a, a lot very, of them are really good. Yeah, it's a very mm-hmm. focused generation. Yeah, yeah, it's all killer, no filler, really. Like they they focused really hard on since they knew there were going to be fewer Pokemon, they made all of them pretty cool, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So. So it was probably easier to make that happen, seeing as they had a little less to work with. Yeah. To be honest. Yep. So was that the last one for? For number three. I think so. yes. yeah. Moving on number to number three. two. Moving on to number two. I'm a popcorn Ricky. All right, that's me. <laughs> uh, my number two has also been discussed already. It is Tyrantrum. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I kind of tipped my hand when I was talking about it earlier, but uh, like I said about you know. I've been wanting a T-Rex. Everybody wants a T-Rex fossil Pokemon, and we finally got one, and he's amazing. Uh, and like I said about, you know, when when you... I love Tyrant as well. I think Tyrant is just as awesome, but we know which one you really want to be. Just like in Banjo-Tooie, like I said, you want to be the big... You want to be the mama T-Rex, you know? I, uh, <laughs> I just... I love... There's not a thing I don't like about Tyrantrum. I I love its normal color scheme. I love its shiny color scheme. I love its like crown and its beard and its mm-hmm. unique ability. I think it's it's just all around a cool Pokemon. I think its typing is cool, even though it's weak. Not, it's weak to the it, other uh, fossil yeah. from that gym. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not great like defensively as a type, but um, it's a unique type and I think a very appropriate type for a T Rex. You know, Rock Dragon oh, yeah. just just makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just, oh, man. <laughs> From the minute I saw, because I believe Tyrant was revealed first. Um, 
and, yeah, and both from, of the, them were. from the minute I saw Tyrant, I was like, I, that thing is going to evolve to be a badass. Oh, you knew it was going to be something amazing. For oh, sure. yeah. I mean, there's no way it wouldn't be fucking awesome. And it, <laughs> it is fucking awesome. So got to give it up for Tyrantrum, my second favorite from this gen. One of my favorites overall. So, I mean, it's T-Rex, man. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> How can you not love it? Yep, that's all I got. So. Tyrant also looks like Chopper from Play Before Time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you know about that? Wow. I mean, we, we did discuss Tyrantrum already, so I don't blame you. you, you I'm for I'm repeat yourself. I know. <laughs> just just. All right. Uh, I guess that's it for my number two. So I'm going to popcorn Amanda. My number two has kind of been talked about. My number two is Age of Slash. Ooh, nice. I like nice. Age of Slash. I like, oh, Age is cool and all. I agree with everything he said. But I really like what they did with Age of Slash. Like, where it's going to go from, like, a sword, you know, sword and shield. It makes sense. We mm-hmm. talked about this in the worst designs. Like, the blade was kind of a letdown. But mm-hmm. Age Slash is great. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's just really cool. And I like that they changed, like, its little sleeve arm thing to be purple. Because purple is my favorite color. And its shiny color scheme is really cool looking. It's, like, all dark. and It's like it's a awesome. blood sword. Yeah. 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 Yep. And, like, its gimmick of, like, changing forms and, like, that's changing its stats, it works well with a sword and shield. It really it, does. It does. Yeah. And when you read that gimmick, like, on paper, at least when I first did, I was kind of like, oh, that sounds like it might not be so good. But I actually think it makes good use of it. It does. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I think I think its stats in, it's in both of its forms, that the forms have different stats is important to the gimmick, I think. Mm-hmm. But I think that it it's balanced well so that, you know, you can really, Aegis Slash can surprise you, you know? Yeah. It's, you gotta, it's all about mind games with that guy. And that's one of the things I love about, uh, competitive battling. The Pokemon that like encourage mind games like Aegis Slash. Yes. Uh, are always favorites of mine. And it's, I mean, we're just strictly talking about design, which I also love, but I love like what's become of it in the metagame as well. It's really great. I love mine. I named mine Excalibur. That was talked about already. Yep. That's <laughs> yeah, a great name for it. Age of Slash is cool. I think, yeah, I think it's a fine name, but <laughs> all of us that Adam did it were kind of like, uh, Excalibur is just a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we all, everybody wanted it to be Excalibur. <laughs> Good choice. Again, Sorry. I love Age of Slash, but it didn't make my list. <laughs> <laughs> Very common theme with you. I know, <laughs> a broken record. <laughs> yep, broken record, so sorry. So I am going to popcorn Josh. <laughs> all right, well, uh, my number two hasn't been talked about at all. My number two is Aegislash. Slash. Wow. <laughs> hey, how about <laughs> that? <laughs> uh, Talk about, <laughs> about Aegislash. Slash. Aegislash Slash, Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just talked about him. So, uh, he's a sword and shield. <laughs> his his sheath, I I just noticed this now. Like uh the three eyes that were on the sheath of the other two are actually on the shield. Mhm. And that's that's cool. So the sheath or the second sword or both became the shield. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea I think going into it. But... Yeah. It's a cool design. <laughs> Again, like Amanda said, it's shiny, it's cool. It's a fucking blood sword. It's black, like, you know, like a cool Charizard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think the purple, like the standard default color, reminds me of the Master Sword a lot. It does. Mm-hmm. It's very, re- like, regal looking. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did want to mention, like, about its stats. I love that he has... 150 base defense and special defense, and then it swaps to 150 in attack and special attack. You yeah. know, we just talked about the gimmick. But, uh, like, that makes it a very powerful Pokemon. Yeah. Like I said, it's 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 actually able to use its gimmick very well, I think. Mm-hmm. When a lot of things that have gimmicks, like 
friggin' um, Zen mode Darmanitan. Like, you're never going to be able to use that, ever. Yeah, you have to be at 50% for that to fucking happen. Yeah. Like, that's a dumb gimmick. But this one, like, the Pokemon is built to make it work. And I think that's really cool. So. And because it's got equal, like, special and defensive stats, depending on the mode it's in, mm -hmm. like, you could use it any way. It's not specifically a physical attacker or specifically mm -hmm. a special attacker. Right. Most people run it as a physical attacker because it gets Swords Dance right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, which, which, which Wait, just makes sense for yeah, it to have that. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I think we've said just about everything that could be said about Age of Slash. <laughs> so, th this is really nitpicky, but the only thing that I want to say about it that's left is um, it's not a big deal, really, because it's still awesome. But the one thing that kind of bugs me about its design is that, like, its, it's, hand its handle is, like, not a handle. Like, Mm -hmm. A person couldn't hold that, which it's like, who cares? I get Pokemon. it because it's like a it's like a five foot tall sword. A person's not supposed to be able to hold it anyway. I get it. I'm just saying. I think that's a little weird. Wasn't it like <laughs> part of its Pokedex that if you grab it, it'll like steal, it steal your, your soul? soul? Yeah, pretty that much. Yeah. And that's like every I think it's Pokemon. Honed, but like, like it, I guess that continues on. Yeah, every Pokemon that has ever existed, like <laughs> steals your steals soul. Your soul. Yeah, everything steals souls in Pokemon games. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to popcorn Matt. All right, cool. Uh, my number two is actually Adam and Ditto's second mascot, Goomy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah woo me. Yeah. Woo me. Go, woo me. <laughs> <laughs> woo me. <laughs> what, can, what can I fucking say about Goomy? Hey, I have an Adam and Goomy. What, what can I say about Goomy? I shouldn't have to say anything. Just look at it. Like, it's adorable. It's so look at Goomy. how it's so yes, cute. Josh. Oh fuck, say. I hate. I. Uh, <laughs> nobody popcorn Josh ever again. I. <laughs> I uh, Gooby, he's just a cute little <laughs> weird looking blob thing that just comes out of nowhere. And like the second we all saw it, we immediately fell in love with it. And. Yep. Before the game was even out, he was already becoming our second mascot, and just I yeah I I wanted to share an anecdote. The first time I ever saw Gumi was in a tweet directed at me from our very own David, um, saying something. It was a picture of Gumi, and it said something to the effect of "Can this be our new mascot?" or something. Like that. <laughs> and he kind of did become. And like I, I, I was like, all right, let's take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I looked at, like, I saw Gumi for the first time, a crystallizing moment in my life, and uh, I was like, this thing is hilarious and adorable, and I love it. It's a so, badass dragon! Yeah. Yeah, that's, you don't expect that! That's the thing, too, about Gumi, is, like, he's just this little blob, like, slime thing. Like, just a cute little slime thing, and he's a dragon type! He's the big bad <laughs> dragon of this gen. Like, he, I know. He, yeah. he's the Salamence. He's the. It makes no sense, and I He's love the it. Garchomp. <laughs> Gumi is the Garchomp of 6th gen. And... <laughs> well, I guess Gudra, yeah, yeah but you, you know what yeah. I mean. It's just you yeah, don't expect it, it. when you when you yeah. see that Pokemon you don't go oh look at that that's a dragon type you go like what is what is this little poison type what the thing fuck is this? doing here <laughs> like it's just I love Gumi he's adorable he's goofy he's good uh, when he finally evolves yeah mm -hmm. Gudra's really powerful there's mm -hmm. there's nothing I could say anymore about Gumi that is just, <laughs> just look at it that's all I can that's all I can give you so my favorite thing about Gumi is uh, the attacking animation where its mouth is just like sort of open, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah. there's a, there was a gift that went around Tumblr from Pokemon and me where like you drop the food in front of Gumi and he does the little mouth thing and like, <laughs> like just gets like angry. It's, it's, it's adorbs. Yeah, Too I cute. love that Too whole cute, line. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh... but they didn't make my looks. <laughs> of course it didn't, Ricky. <laughs> Of course it didn't. Uh, sorry, guys. Well, there's a lot of really cool Pokemon in this gen, all right? Yeah. There are. <laughs> Don, tell me who your number two is. My number two is Alucha. 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 Nice choice. Um, we, we 
you already talked about a hundred shit. I, I chimed in then. Um, <clears throat> and, like, I just have to agree, you know? Like, I, I mean, like, I, I wasn't, like, hard, not really hard, but, like, clamoring for a fighting flying type. Mm-hmm. But, like, seeing the design of Halucha, the, the wrestlerness, of, he's, uh, he's also kind of like itty bitty, you know, you don't expect a big or a wrestler, wrestler to be, you know, a small guy. Uh, but he's he's a little badass, and I really appreciate <laughs> that. I I agree. Yeah, I think Halucha's awesome. Halucha did make my list, so finally, <laughs> see, <laughs> I get to say, I love that thing. And it's in my top. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like ten Pokemon in this gen, and none of them made Ricky's top ten list. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm about it. Are you doing it to spite everybody? Like, no. Like, these are <laughs> these are my <laughs> genuine favorites. Come yeah. on. Man. All right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Me and Ricky agree on that. You know, which is uh. <laughs> Go ahead. I, uh... <laughs> Pick somebody else. Mm-hmm. Duh. Popcorn, Jess? I think I'm the only one who hasn't gone. Um, but we might as well skip mine because we've talked about him twice already. My number two is Age of Slash. <laughs> Yay! <Nice. laughs> should have picked you. Josh should have picked you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jess. <laughs> I was hoping you would. <laughs> but it's cool. Like, What can I say that hasn't already been said? Um, Age of Slash is just fucking awesome. I love it. Um, and, you know, like Amanda said, it's cool that he can be both uh, specially offensive and physically offensive. Um, you know, you don't have to go one way or the other with it, and that's awesome. So, um, yeah, there's nothing I really don't like about this Pokemon. Mm-hmm. There's really nothing I don't like. I just, that's all I can really say at this point, because we've talked about it so damn much. <laughs> yeah, we have. So, <laughs> that's, we're at the number one now, right? Yeah, let's move on to number one. Pick uh, who you want to give okay. number one first. All right, I popcorn Matt. Oh, fuck. Um... <laughs> I, I, did, full circle. Yeah. I didn't expect it. Um, okay, my number one is definitely gonna get some get some looks from people, but there are a lot of people that really like this Pokemon too, and most of them are in this call. My number one <laughs> is Klefki. Oh, Yay! Yeah. From the moment I saw Klefki, which ironically was from David. David sent me a text message with Klefki in it, so. <laughs> that is funny. The, from the moment I saw him, I loved Klefki. Again, I love the living inanimate objects things, and he's like a living key ring, literally the size of a key ring, if you read like his Pokedex entry, with like the little keys that he gets as gifts from people or like finds around. I just... Isn't it? He is just so adorable. Like, everything about Klefki is so cool. And what makes Klefki even better is his typing and that he's actually viable in battle. He's actually a very popular (laughs) Pokemon this gen because of his really powerful typing. And he's got a lot of options that you can do with him. You can do, like, Substitute and, like, Light Screen. You can do the Swagger, which is now, I believe, illegal. (laughs) Yeah, it's banned. Yeah. Uh Apparently, I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's illegal. Klefki can't do that. Yeah. yeah it's... <laughs> He's got the prankster ability, which makes you know him the perfect... He, he, he was designed for support, and the, that shows mm-hmm. through his typing, through his ability, and his move pool. And I, I love that. I love that I actually have a viable Pokemon on this list because I'm not getting it from Pyroar. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> At least Klefki can be viable, and I, I love the living, the living things. Uh, me and me and David made a joke that like, if, if Klefki was to evolve, he should evolve into a door and then into a house. <laughs> wow. I don't want I don't want Klefki to evolve. I think he's perfect the way he is. But it was just what we were joking about when he first sent me this picture of this thing. Like, what the hell am I supposed to think? It's fucking keychain, like. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of those Pokemon where when you first see it, you have a knee-jerk reaction of like, wow, they're really running out of ideas. But, I mean, it grew on me so fast, like you. I, I mean, I don't know if it needed to grow on you at all, Matt, but for <laughs> it me, at least, it really grew on me a lot, you know. Um, yeah. It's just a... I like the, you know, 
they have a lot of like mileage, a lot of room to explore with fairy types. Um, especially because there's a lot of like stuff in mythology of various countries about you know little little apparitions that steal things or you know whatever. There's all sorts of fairy tales like that, literally fairy tales. Um, <laughs> and I think Klefki is a really good representation of that. You know, this little household thing that like keeps keys. I, I don't know. I I just. <laughs> It, like I said, if you put aside your knee-jerk reaction and just sort of look at it and take it for what it is, I think it's a really awesome Pokemon. But Love not on your amazing. list. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I love the Pokedex entry that says that when it's trying to threaten people, it shakes its keys at them. <laughs> well, <laughs> just, so just imagine this little, like, 0.8 centimeters or whatever tall thing, like, shaking his little keys to try to threaten you. Yeah. And then he puts so up, cool. then he puts up a substitute and like you just can't can't break him. So <laughs> yeah, I love I love Klefki. He's adorable. Uh, when I first saw Klefki, like I instantly knew Matt's gonna love that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no, I had the same exact reaction. I was so like, did I. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because we all know we've known Matt for ten years, you know, and. Uh, he loves inanimate objects coming to life. So I'm we... I'm a strange individual. I like what I likes, and I likes that, and I likes Klefki. <laughs> and I know a lot of people out there don't like Klefki. A lot of people didn't like Vanillish and all those Pokemon. Those people, I mean, they're free to think that. I think they're awesome. And I love Klefki. Mm -hmm. He's my favorite from this gen. You want to fight about it? I don't care. He's my favorite. One of my favorites of all time. I Klefki's love Klefki. He's a really awesome Pokemon. I love Klefki. Yeah, I'm glad. For, like... For a brief amount of time, like after X and Y came out, like you you guys were like really into Clefki and stuff like that, and so there's there's a lot of Clefki going around, and I was I was the one, like I I like Clefki, but I didn't want to use it because everybody else was using it. Well, right. And... <laughs> Josh stole one of my sets for Clefki. <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry, man. It's alright. <laughs> it's banned now, so. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. And it was extremely annoying <laughs> playing against Klefki. And then I made my <laughs> mistake, and it's faster. Yeah. But thankfully, Smaga has banned Swag. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a less annoying fighting against Klefki. Great. <laughs> well, that's Klefki. He's my number one. I love him. <sighs> Ricky, why don't you tell me who your number one is? <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm cheating again. <laughs> uh, because my number one is sort of a tie between Pancham and Pangoro. Um, again, if you had to hold me at gunpoint, I would go with Pancham. Mm -hmm. But I just love them both so, so friggin' much. Um, I just, I don't know. It, I, I, I mean, they're pandas, so like that, they got that going for them. They're adorable already and badass at the same time. And that's kind of my whole thing. You know, you guys have heard me say in previous, like, favorite lists. My favorite Pokemon of all time is Cubone. And, uh, Generally, my favorite Pokemon tend to be the ones that strike a really nice balance between badass and adorable. And I think both Pancham and Pangoro really hit that balance right on the mark. In fact, um, they've basically become my sixth favorite Pokemon of all time. So, of course, they're going to be my favorites from this gen. I, I It's not even like... I can't even really quantify it any better than that. I just think that they're really, really cool looking. <laughs> um, I also I wanted to mention, uh, I know I kind of gave this lot to Pancham, like if I had to pick one. But uh, I wanted to mention that Pangoro, along with several others from 6th Gen, such as, uh, I believe, uh, Aegislash and uh, Tyrantrum. <laughs> I, I believe you're correct. I know what you're getting at. Yeah, were designed by uh, Hitoshi Ariga, the artist of Mega Man Megamix. So, uh, I think that's just a cool piece of trivia, and I think, no joke, all the Pokemon that guy designed are awesome. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, of those, what's weird is he actually didn't design Pancham. So, uh, you know, whatever. But of of all of the ones that he did design, Pangora is probably my favorite. Um, I just. Oh man, I just—they're just so cool. We mentioned that twig in their mouths earlier. Hmm. 
<laughs> and um, I love like Panchan's like official art. He's kind of doing this very stereotypical like Japanese manga bully like swagger pose, you know. I mean, he doesn't have one, but you could just see the pompadour on this guy. <laughs> and um, he just, I think he's so cute and so badass, and that's why he's my favorite. So there you go. Uh, I popcorn. Don. Hold on. Well, right. I'm gonna talk about Pangoro a little bit because I have Pancham on my list, but not Pangoro. But I, I do think Pangoro is like super cool. Uh, he's, he's got that Japanese like delinquent going on, man. Like yeah. I think it's super cool. Yep. Do you want a mention? Oh yeah, Amanda got me this shiny Pancham. Nice. Oh. Like initially playing, and I pretty much played through the entire entirety of a single player with. The shiny Pangoro. He was my, <laughs> I believe he was my first Pokemon to hit 100. Nice. Very nice. Uh, probably because nice. of the, you know, not, my, share. Not, not, not necessarily experience share, but like the not my Pokemon. Mm -hmm. the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. I forgot. Okay. That's very cool, though. Yeah. <clears throat> the, the shiny for Pangoro, like, it's instead of black, it's like brown, <clears throat> and like his hands are red. It's kind of, it's kind of like boxing gloves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is very it's, cool. It's a cool design. I I like Pangor a lot, uh, but I like Pancham better. I like Pancham better as well, but I like them both so much that it's it's tough for me to mention one without the other. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but it, I I'm with you that I like Pancham just a little bit more than Pangoro. And you popcorn so. me, right? So I, I get I to did. talk about. <laughs> I told you he'd be on this list a million times. Yeah, Greninja <laughs> is popular for a reason. It's like, it's a frog ninja. Yep. It's a Smash Bros. now, too. Yeah. He's yeah. got a great ability, or hidden ability. Oh yeah, how did we did? I don't. I feel like we haven't even mentioned. Well, when, we, talk, when, shit, we, talk, we, when we talked when we talked about him getting a mega form, we did. Oh well, okay. Well. Still, we didn't talk about how amazing it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking kicks ass. Fucking uh, four well, times. Same thing. Uh, same thing with like sort of H slash. Like is that ability, like sort of, creates mind games and it yeah. encourages mm -hmm. mind games. It does and absolutely. It really shapes the meta game, as it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's today. such a the thing about Protean is like that ability. I mean, to be fair, Greninja's stats are, are a part of it as well. His spread lends itself to use Protean well. Yeah. But I th I think just Protean in, in itself makes Greninja like so much better than Chestnut or Delphox that it's almost not even fair. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> like yeah. he's he's like Don said, he's shaped the metagame, and like Chestnut and Delphox are just kind of there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Delphox being less there than Chestnut. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, let's let's talk about that real quick because that's part of the reason why I really like Greninja. Like, I, I mentioned in my like fifth, no, 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 five worst uh, six gen designs, uh, Delphox. Like how it disappointed me so much. But like, Grin, like I I said that Greninja was really cool and that's why I was so disappointed with Delphox. Mm -hmm. Like Greninja forced me off of going with the Fennekin as a starter. Bec because Greninja was just that cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean I, I think that's legit. Mm -hmm. yeah. I I love everything about it. Tongue scarf. The the shiny's cool too. It's like oh black. Oh my god, yeah, the shiny. We didn't even Oh, Jesus. We didn't even talk about his shiny, did we? Well, I mean, what would you expect the shiny of the ninja Pokemon to be? It's pretty yeah. it's well, pretty, yeah. It's pretty obvious, you know, what it would be. But it doesn't right. disappoint. It's still very cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think um, both of its names, like the English and Japanese, well, not, even, not both, because I'm sure there's more names, just the English yeah. and Japanese ones. But the English and Japanese ones specifically, I think they're both cool. Gekoga yeah. or Ninja, they, mm -hmm. they both are... Frog Ninja, you know? Mm -hmm. It works. I think Koga should have a Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> he, he should. Stop poison. Yeah, he should. Well, it, could it could be. Who cares? Poison. 
Yeah, yeah, it can it be. Could we'll have be. Cody in and then put toxic spikes on it. Oh, wait, wait. Can you have toxic spikes on it? He could be have like, Sludge Wave or something. I think you can put toxic spikes. Maybe. What? Does he have There's... poison chip? He could have, like, Sludge Bomb or something. Well, I just, I wanted to say real quick something interesting about Greninja that also makes him very cool um, is that he is the fastest starter oh, yeah. and, mm-hmm. and the fastest water type. Mm-hmm. That's that is, those are two distinctions that he holds and he makes great use of it. Mm-hmm. You know, he's very fast. So. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. Greninja X. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I I guess that wraps up uh, wraps it up for Ganinja, uh at least for me. <laughs> yep. I I'm going to popcorn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. My number one is Gudra. Yay! Yeah, and. Gudra. I, I I can't not love this thing. I mean, look at it. It's it's adorable. I mean, it's it's like you know, like Matt said, it's the it's the the Dragonite uh, of this gen. It's the uh, it's the it's a badass dragon Pokemon of this gen, basically. And uh, it's it doesn't even look like it would be, <laughs> and I love it because of that. It looks so so silly and adorable, and then oh my god, I love it. I there's nothing I don't like about Gudra. I knew from the second I saw it that I would be using it. So. Um, and it, the, you know, the, uh, the, the typing is cool. The, the, uh, the, the, it's move set is awesome. It's, it's stats are awesome. There's just everything about it is just so cool. Oh, I love it. There's, there's nothing about this Pokemon that I don't like. I could, I, I need to stop now or I'm going to go on. So <laughs> I don't think you could be a okay. human being and not love Gudra. Yeah. <laughs> oh my it's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, and I I love that it's the big bad dragon Pokemon. You know, like Matt's like Matt said again, I, it makes zero sense, and I love it because of that. <laughs> Does, so doesn't have to. I, I get, huh? Doesn't have to make sense. Just has to be. Yeah, it just has to be right. So also, I, I, um, I think he's like one of the few Pokemon that has like five different animations. He he has like a tail whip. That he hits mm-hmm. you with, he, I think he has a punch, maybe, um, and he whips you with his uh, horns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the horns. Yeah, the horns. But yeah, I'm pretty he has... sure he has a punching animation because his Pokedex entry is very like. It talks about like how he's got the strength of like millions of boxers or some shit. A hundred, a hundred pro exact... boxers. Yeah. Okay, hundred. <laughs> It's still exaggerated. Yeah. yeah, I mean all the Pokedex <laughs> entries are, but that one is especially charming. Which hundred? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Mayweather all the way. Yeah, good is amazing. I love it. Uh, that's about all I have to say about it, I guess. Um, I popcorn. Has Matt gone yet? Yeah, I've already gone. I was clucky. Yes. Yeah, you've already gone. One. Yeah. Okay. There's only, there's only two. There's only two left. It's Amanda and Josh. Okay. Who hasn't gone? Okay. I popcorn Josh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My number one great. is Greninja. <laughs> <laughs> Saw it coming a mile away. Greninja. Ant- has... Antique climax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Greninja has risen through the ranks of, like, Pokemon I like. He's actually my third favorite Pokemon of all time right now. That's great. Um, I claim, considering he just was introduced last year. Yeah. <laughs> all time. <laughs> all time. All time. All time. Favorite. I am so creative with nicknames. He's nicknamed Ninja. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that's That's pretty lame. Yeah. It is. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've talked about, like, every facet of this guy. Um, except for the fact that, you know, he has a unique attack in Water Shuriken. That's right. I... Too bad it kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. It's still cool. Yeah. yeah. Also, I don't think we touched on the fact that, like, his his special attack's clearly better than his attack, but barely so that you could run either or. 
And oh, I, I just think that's interesting because uh, he is a he could be. Yeah, he could be sweeper, a mix even. Or he could be an attacker, or he could be a special attacker, or <laughs> goofy. <laughs> I'm glad you caught on, Matt. <laughs> um, again, he's in Smash Bros, and that made him all the more cooler to me. Yeah, uh, Matt, have you said the thing that you? Noticed about Greninja yet? Have you pointed that out? Oh, I mean, we talked about it in our Smash Bros. videos, but I guess some people watching this probably have never watched those. Um, an interesting thing about Greninja, just a fun little fact, you know, if you're ever on Jeopardy one day and the question comes up. Um, <laughs> Greninja is the only character in a Smash Brothers game to be, to have been revealed, like, in his, be in a game for the very first time, which would be Pokemon X and Y, that was on the same console as the Smash Brothers game he's introduced in as a character, making him the pretty much the newest character to ever be playable in a Smash Brothers game, and I think that's and nutty. You have, to, you, you have to put an asterisk on the end of that. Yeah, because, because of... Of fucking Roy. Who cares? Yeah, but no, I mean your statement, which is that he appeared, he debuted and appeared in Smash Brothers on the same console generation, still holds true. Yeah. So, like that's crazy. That's crazy. He's so new. You know. Yeah. Like that seems that seems nutty to me that they would put in a character that new but i mean i guess the more i think about it the more it makes sense so uh, yeah i think he's absolutely once i got over the shock value of like why is it greninja holy crap i think he's absolutely the one to go to i think he's got the staying power you know mm-hmm. he's the star of this generation yeah he's uh, the sure kid yeah especially he... now but like even before he was he's the star yeah, of this like list him. yeah <laughs> he very much is I love Greninja. He's awesome. I'm glad he's in Smash. Oh, yeah. I'm glad he's in Pokemon. I'm glad he is. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm glad he exists. He is awesomeness personified. Mm-hmm. And that is the last note for Greninja, so I'm going to pass the torch on to Amanda. I'm going to be real original here. My number <laughs> one is Gudra. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and I should have gone last. Mine was the only shocking one. <laughs> you trying to? What do you got against Panchim? Nothing against nothing against the Panchim. <laughs> All Pan of Pan these have already been said. That's but like, true. Yeah. I really love Rudra. I love his like his color palette. He's like purple. I love purple. Purple's my favorite color. You Purple's my favorite color, here, right? Yeah. And like, mm-hmm. I like that like. He's, you know, a goo dragon, so, like, he's all drippy <laughs> on his arm and stuff, but it's adorable. <laughs> and, like, all of his animations are all happy, and, like, he's such a badass. I know, he's the happiest, he's the happiest damn Pokemon. I yeah, swear. I'm, like, personally, I'm really happy to see a return to, like, a, like a chubby, cute dragon. Yeah. Because, like, Tyranitar and Salamence and, um... Garchomp. <laughs> Garchomp and uh, so, uh, Hydra- 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 Dragon. Yeah. Hydra- yeah. Dragon, yeah. They're all like, we're super badass dragons. And like, that's <laughs> great. I love those too. But... And then you got Gudra and Dragonite who were just like, hi guys. Yeah. I, just, I, think, it, I think it's a welcome return to the sort yeah. of free dragon from Dragonite. And I love it. So Yeah. I also wanted to say, I didn't bring this up before. I said I loved uh, Gudra's type. He's pure dragon. And we don't mm-hmm. see many pure dragons. So... Yeah, I think that's awesome. Like, yeah. just and Redhead. Yeah, Dragon. And, and, and the unevolved ones. Well, like, yeah. Uh, Tratini yeah. and Bagon. And Haxorus, but, like, like, those aren't yeah. really Oh, Hexers too. Shit. Those generally have a second type. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. Jess is a... Yeah. You go first, actually. I was just... The Jess is still right, is all. Okay. Well, I was going to say, here's another interesting thing about being a Dragon type. This... It's the generation where they introduce fairies. And fairies, like, directly counter dragons. Mm-hmm. But, Gudra, in this world where there are fairies existing that directly counter dragons, can stand in a world with fairies. Because oh, it's yeah. got, like, the greatest special Obscene defense. Obscene special defense, defense yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god, it's special defense is godly, <clears throat> yeah. Like, its attack stats are, like, only... 10 off of each other mm-hmm. so you could make it physical and most fairies are specially defensive so like they can't handle that yeah, yeah. So, I love that about a I love it's that stance. can beat fairies mm-hmm. also oh go ahead 
my my advent Gudra. Yeah. <laughs> No, but special Gudra. Because it's special is ten higher, yes. Yeah. And I run mine adamant and physical because like one, people don't expect it. And yeah. two, I've made it to be a fairy killer. I ran yeah. on a poison move so it could kill fairies. Nice. <laughs> like I've made this the anti fairy. Like I throw out Gudra and everybody's like, Oh, it's a dragon, so they try to kill me with fairy. I live and it's like, No, you're gone. Hmm. I love my Gudra. Yeah. yeah. It's an awesome strat for sure. Yes. People don't normally do that because it's like it's the lower of the attacking stat. Yeah, but it's still perfectly serviceable. Like a hundred is. is not bad, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh my! It is a lot better than other Pokemon stats. Yeah, I just realized that it has. It could also have <laughs> Iron Tail, which you know, yes. uh, is seventy-five Works. accuracy, so it, it doesn't it, work as well as Poison Tail. But if it hits, it hits hard. Yeah. It does. <clears throat> So you could, like, if you were to go with a physical Gudra, you could go with Gudra War. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Personally, I would say go ahead and go with the lower accuracy one, YOLO. Yeah, well, it yeah, does more damage. But uh, Poison Tail has a higher chance of crit. Right. Yeah. Actually, YOLO. <laughs> so, like, you know, you could go either way. You try to crit or hope yeah. you don't miss. Okay, so they're both YOLO. They yeah. are. They are both yellow. It's pretty yellow, but like throwing in Gudra out against the fairies, be yellow to begin with. It is. Gu Gudro <laughs> just lives nice. life y yellow. Yeah. Uh, again, yo go. This is the thing. <laughs> Gudra. They made Gudra good, even though fairies being introduced as the dragon killer. Fairies. Mm -hmm. Like yep. stand yeah. against those fairies. Yeah. Yeah. Gudra is a very important uh, to this gen, I think. Yeah, it is. in a gen where they also introduced a dragon poison type. <laughs> yeah. Which was, you know, meant to counter. <laughs> it's so frail, it can't take a hit. And yeah. yeah. Oh, it's I love, I love uh, Dragalgy. Dragalgy. Yeah. almost made the list. I love Dragalgy. I yeah. like Dragalgy. He's awesome. Yeah. He's cool. But I wish he wasn't so frail. Gudra's better. Yeah. Gud but I understand what they were going Gudra's for. Gudra's better. He's cooler. Yeah. But I do like Dragalgy a lot. Anyway, I think that's it. We've been talking about this for like an hour and a half now. So, that's a long, Damn. That's a long time. Jesus. We wanted to be quick at the beginning of the video. We're like, oh, we're, let's make this quick. Let's make it quick. And it's like an hour and a half. An hour and a half later. That's all right. If you're still listening, <laughs> they're, they're, thank you. If you're still listening, you're fucking dedicated. 30 minutes of mm -hmm. champion girls. 30 minutes of pirate. 30 minutes of <laughs> <laughs> I evolved my well, I, mean, I evolved my Gumi to a Gudra in the time that it took us to do this video. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still words out of Matt's mouth. Yep. <laughs> yep. We'll... Uh, be nice to each other in the comments. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Be nice to us too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you guys to be no more barbarical and Trevor. And Clevkey. <laughs> and Those are cool. Those are my babies. <laughs> well, we should have said that on the bad Pokemon list. Whatever. All right. Take it easy, guys. See you. Bye. Hey, guys. I wasn't in Mario Kart 8. This is Wiggler, by the way. But you watch Anime Ditto. Make sure you'd like, comment, and subscribe to these guys. And maybe buy a shirt or some stickers. Let's kick some ass.